another beautiful day up in the mountains. Got Matt with me today, leading me outdoors right behind me there. And today we're doing Baden Pal. It's been probably four or five years since I've been up here at Mount Baden Pal. And it's about a four mile hike up, 3,000 feet of elevation gain, 40 something switchbacks. Gonna be fun. Let's go. One thing I forgot to mention uh, when we got to the trailhead here, about 6.40, 6.45, it was already in the 70s. It's going to be one of the hotter days of the year today. I think at home it's going to be like 110, 115. Up here we'll probably be in the 90s. Whew. We've got plenty of water. Got water for when we get back to the truck. There's a spring up here too. I think I'll camel up there at least on the way back down and just enjoy that nice spring water as we're coming up here on the trail there's a couple spots here that are a little barren and you get good views of out in the desert like the Lancaster area uh, Saddleback Butte over there and once you get to the top we see a little bit more of the southern Sierra here we are at one of the switchbacks you see Matt there going across on one yeah, they're steep going up. As you're coming up, this canyon right in here, back down in there is Mine Gulch. Campgrounds there, uh, fish or prairie forks that canyon right there, and that would be Pine Mountain. Pine Mountain still got snow on it. Pretty crazy to see. It's July 21st to 22nd, and there's still snow up there in the mountains in Southern California. As you're coming up the trail, these views just keep opening up better and better. There's a fire way out there, like right in here. Looks like it's out there by the Air Force Base. And on a clear day, you can see Alancha Peak, which I think is right over there. And then Telescope Peak, I can see today, right over there. But once we get to the top, the views get better and better. You can see even more. And on a clear day, actually, you can even see Mount Whitney from up here on Baden Powell. Just left Lamel Spring, which is actually flowing better than I've ever seen it before. Not much of a flow. Uh, good enough flow that you can filter water from. I uh, wet down my necktie here to cool off. And now we're coming up to a spot I really like on the trail. Sort of like a flattens out a little bit. It's a great spot to take a break. You want to have lunch, snacks. There's a couple logs up here to sit down on. It's a beautiful day out here on the trail to Mount Baden Powell. Look at these pine cones here. Some big ones right here. Just a, a couple little ones on the end. They're right there, nice big one. I believe that would be a sugar pine tree with the big pine cones like that. Making our way up the trail here. Uh, kind of spot where the switchbacks get much smaller. So we are getting closer to the summit. Uh, bugs are starting to get up. I just, bugs are starting to come out. Just got bit by one. And then on the trail, man and I met up with Eric Coleman from Coleman Outdoors. Great guy. Um, he actually made this wood sign for me that he was gonna bring to one of my meetups one time. And the meetup didn't happen because of COVID. So he's asking about a meetup. I've been having a few other people ask me about a meetup. So maybe we can have one soon. But I'll put a picture of that uh, wood sign that he made. It was pretty good. I appreciate that. So thank you, Eric, for that. And thank you for the stickers today. And now we're gonna keep on going to the top. This is what I like to call like the mini switchbacks going up to Bay and Powell. As you start climbing elevation very quickly. Um, yeah, the trail just goes back and forth, back and forth. Smaller switchbacks are maybe 50 to 100 yards each. Going right up there. Right in here are some of the last switchbacks going up before you hit the ridge line. And you can see a few people hiking through. Uh, Mr. Hicks right there is a subscriber of mine. Cool to meet another subscriber here on trail. Quite a bit of trail runners out here on the trail today. 
I uh, just stopped there, lit a few pass, and as I'm looking at my watch to look at the elevation, we just passed the 9,000 foot mark. And just passed the 2,500 foot of elevation gain. We're coming up here now, almost done with this, the main switchbacks. I'm going to start up on the ridge line, past the Wally Waldron tree, and then we're there at the summit. Well, we made it made to the ridge line to get up there to the top of Baden Powell. Look over this way. Whew. You got Mine Gulch down there. Mine Gulch camp is like right in there. Prairie Fork is right in there. Fish Fork over there. My buddy Robert, he's down there with some friends doing the East Fork through hike this weekend. Start over at Vincent Gap over here and go all the way through out to Heaton Flats. Okay, here we are on top of Baden Powell. Got a subscriber there, James. Got Matt. They're right there next to the flag. Beautiful day out here. It's about 80 degrees, maybe a little bit hotter now. Let me flip the camera around and show you these views. So we're gonna go across the way here, uh, right over there, Sugarloaf. You got San Gregorio Wilderness with San G popping up. Right over here is Pine and Dawson. You've got Mount Baldy, West Baldy, San Jacinto right through there. Right on the other side of the trees is Saddleback. Right through the trees right there, Iron Mountain. Still need to finish that one. Coming across, you got Catalina Way out there. See that well, I'll be doing that in September, finishing the Catalina Trail. And then over here, you got Mount Wilson. You've got Throop, uh, Mount Williamson. You've got uh, Mount Disappointment, San Gabriel Mountain over there. Mount Pacifico out there. And coming across this way, um, Hard to see just because of the haze, but we were able to see earlier today Telescope Peak and Olancha Peak, which is pretty cool because those are, Telescope Peak is way out in Death Valley, and then the other one, um, Olancha, is sort of like at the foothills of the Sierra, at the beginning of the Sierra. Look right there, that flag's flying great. Love seeing that flag up here, and always a great time seeing that monument as well let's go check that out before we head back down and find a place for lunch here is the monument for mount beaten pal show it before bring the show to you again named in 1931 for mount baden pal who was a founder of the boy scout movement there you go a scout is trustworthy loyal helpful friendly courteous kind obedient cheerful thrifty brave clean and reverent i should have remembered that from my boy scout days and when they built the monument, you see right there, it was dedicated on the 100 year anniversary, no, the 100th anniversary of the 50th anniversary of World Scouting in September of 1957. So there he is, how was his 100th, 100th anniversary, 100th birthday. That would be Lord Baden Powell. And then just take a look at this thing, it's pretty big. Good size. Here we go. This is the Wally Waldron tree. Let's just come up a little bit closer to it. Here, um, old tree. Well, it is the oldest tree in the forest. Look at these roots and just how they're going out. Amazing. And still life up on top. Look at that. Um, it was named after Wally Waldron. And I want to say this tree is close to between 1500 and 2500 years old i can't remember for sure i'll put it up in the video for you though and tell you the exact age of the tree coming back down from the top we're gonna check out lamel spring and then top off a liter each to get back to the vehicle That's gonna be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you get a chance, check out Matt's channel, Lead Me Outdoors. Till next one, thanks for having me.